checking back in on the garden. We got the Slim 600H here, rocking it at 75 to sometimes 50% power. And we are getting some beautiful growth here. Check it out, guys. Buds are coming up nicely, starting to swell up. They don't get too, too huge, but they get extremely thick. And uh, they start falling over a bit, so we'll see how strong these guys' stems are. Try to train them pretty strong, um, but if they can't really hold up, we'll have to probably tie them up. Getting some orange hairs showing up, and I've had that in the last row too, I think. Optigate here run around 70% power, around 45% on the bloom enhancers. The pods are doing most of the work. These buds too are coming in really nicely. Starting to thicken up a bit. Massive canopies on these girls, check it out. And they are going to be full of bud sites here. Slim 600H is covering this 4x4 area really nicely. Very even par spread here. We got some very even, we got some very even par spread going on, and these girls are loving it. Don't really see any deficiencies going on. Do got to worry about bugs, gnats, and uh, thrips coming in. Uh, I was fighting the bugs here a while ago when I first started, but things have calmed down a bit, and uh, I did have my traps out and definitely helped don't have flies going all over the place but I do got to keep on top of that and I should be ordering up some more sticky traps here right away I would never spray my plants once they get into like this stage once they're flowering I would never want to spray <laughs> I would never want to spray anything on the flowers even if they had thrips beautiful canopy here and this one too tons and tons of bud sites here on each plant right now we got another four to five weeks to go on these girls We'll probably start our overdrive here shortly and then we're going to be switching to the flush here in two weeks probably. And having a little peek here at the Optic 6 tent here. These girls are starting to butt up really nicely too. They are about a week behind it seems from the other girls. I did start them to flower a bit later. I was going to veg them longer. But I just said screw it and just said let's throw them into flower. So they are probably like six days behind or so. But yeah, they're looking really nice. Very, very frosty. Beautiful smells coming on these girls. That's a gelato. Uh, we got some more gelatos here. We got some Bosley Sherberts. I think the gelatos are in the back. These guys are definitely a little bit smaller, but they're really filling up nicely. Filling up this 3.3 by 3.3 tent. Uh, not really touching the sides. And they got some really sturdy branches. I don't really have to worry about them falling over at all. Um, yeah. Did some nice super cropping on these girls and they really worked out well. Uh, but they didn't really branch out too much. They stayed uh, pretty compact and just grew up and uh, short and stout. So I think they're going to be more into killing stuff, but we will see. Check out the autoflowers, guys. Autoflowers into flush here. We're going to give them another straight watering here tomorrow. But look at the buds just chunk up on these girls. Looking lovely. Looking beautiful under these lights. Gotta love those autoflowers and how they're done nice and fast. And when you're growing photo periods, you can always have this nice early harvest. We got the short stuff seeds, star dogs, and then we got the auto gelato from Fast Buds. Growing under the slim 320H in a 4x2 tent. Perfect for a few autoflowers here, three or four nice size autoflowers. Definitely would fill a tent up like this. In the Slim 600H tent, we got the bag. We got the berries and astringent gas and just two different phenotypes. And then over here in this one, we got one ocean fruit, a couple bags and a gelato uh, cottonmouth genetics. So yeah, a little bit more diverse in this tent. But this one here is all bag. So we'll get to see what a monocrop looks like under the Slim 600H here. Also wanted to let you guys know there's a contest going on for the Slim Series lights. 
I'm gonna be putting a link down below for that video to show you what's going on there. Also, I can hook you guys up with a 5% discount code on Optic LED. Just send me a DM on Instagram at Dr. Autoflower. I'll hook you up with a discount code and help you out with any questions you have on the lights. We are four and a half weeks into flower. Buds are forming up nicely, but we got an issue, guys. We got an issue. And that is the issue we had way back when we were trying to get these girls into flower. We were dealing with thrips. So the thrips are back, those little buggers. So yeah, as you can see there, there's spots. And the little buggers, they just go on the bottom there and they just suck those spots. And they suck juices out of the uh, leaves. So that is not good. They don't form like spider mites. They don't form the webs all over the plants. These are actually, you don't have to worry too much about these guys, but they are quite annoying. They do hurt the plants somewhat, but these girls look so strong. But these girls look really strong. and It doesn't seem to be affecting them right now, um, but some of these leaves are getting quite uh, eaten up, it looks like. Uh, like this one's not that bad, but I see a couple back there that look pretty intensely eaten up um, not too bad in here not too bad in this one it's just on a certain plants they like them more I guess and because we're already in a four and a half weeks of flower I really am not wanting to spray them with anything and that's not the route I want to go it's not a bug that's gonna get all over the buds from what I've heard they seem to be staying on the leaf and uh, because of that, I just won't be keeping any leaf. I'll just throw all the leaf away, keep only buds. And uh, yeah, I'm not too worried about that. I think after this grow, I'm probably gonna let it sit for a while. I'm gonna really clean this whole room out. But once this grows done, we are gonna just spray this whole room down multiple times, clean it multiple times. And if we have any veg plants going, we're gonna be spraying them with the method PPS, which really helps prevent them coming back. So we'll be doing that the entire veg pretty much next time. Spraying it all down, making sure these little bastards don't come back. But yeah, it is what it is, you know. We, we tried to fight them off and they were pretty much gone for the first while, but they did come back with a vengeance it looks like. But you know, they're doing really good so far. I haven't really noticed too much uh, slow in bud growth. Uh, this phenotype I'm growing out right now uh, doesn't grow the hugest buds, but they grow super super dense and Right now they look pretty much on point from what I saw last time So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go through and just take off leaves like this The ones that I see that are just getting eaten and intact and they they have some bugs on them We're gonna be throwing them in a bag and take them out to the garbage and they're gone So that's pretty much all I can do right now. I can just pretty much go through here do maintenance take out the leaves that look like they're kind of messed up and shit and just throw them out. They're pretty much in all tents right now, but the thing is they're only in certain plants. So certain ones look like they got way more than others. So to me, it seems like they like the taste of certain ones compared to others. And you know, that makes it a little handy because then you can kind of focus on one because they're not, you know, swarming on another one, right? So if they're only on one plant in the whole garden, then you, you know you gotta focus on that one, take out the ones that has a lot on the leaves, and uh, you know, you kinda help take the population down a little bit, but you're fighting an ongoing battle pretty much to the end of harvest. So yeah, I'm, I'm aware of that, and pretty much what I'm gonna be doing is just not keeping these leaf, I normally do keep the leaf, dry it out, use it for uh, bubble hash or something like that but this time no I'm gonna be just tossing it all out keep only the buds uh, make sure you do a nice clean here and I think we're gonna be okay they look like they are very on point for four and a half weeks everyone's already looking very nice and dense that is a great sign some of these phenotypes have bigger nugs than the others uh, the other ones are some of them are more very compact and dense like little golf balls so yeah you guys will see more of that come in a few weeks here 
but it is what it is you know he can't always be bug free normally I only have problems with the, uh, the fungus gnats so this is one of the first times ever having to deal with thripes you know it is you know annoying but there could always be worse uh, pests in the garden of course so you know gotta count your blessings when you can and uh, so far everyone looks on point to me we want to do a big watering and feeding right now but first I'm gonna go through and just take off all these leaves that look like they're getting eaten up by the bugs that have you know a large amount of bugs on them kind of help take out the population of you know little suckers and do what I can to you know keep the population down a little bit so you know girls like this they're coming to the end of the flower um, they're not really affecting them much they have some on them but really it's really not noticeable now once they're just about done it looks like because they're finishing up it looks like they're almost you know not attacking it as much I think we're gonna be all good um, we got the stuff to fight them off the method PPS that I got from Stepwell is actually really good on this it was on one of my clones and I sprayed it with it and it looks like killed them all off but you really got to keep on it with that stuff you got to keep doing it every week spray them down and after a while it should kill them all off so I'm gonna get to leaf stripping here guys and I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit all right so I'm gonna show you guys the aftermath here didn't take too much off so pretty much didn't notice any thrips in this one and this one maybe one or two leaves in this one nothing in that one I noticed uh, that one is probably the worst of the whole garden it's got it pretty infested this one I would say is tied with second worst and then over here in the optic six garden uh, just this one is a little bit bad and the rest I don't really notice any thrips on any of them um, but that's the thing like it seems like they like a certain plant and the other plants they just don't care about and they just won't go on really uh, It's not really affecting them at all. So kind of strange this tent too, the optic 8 tent. Uh, I've only noticed a Handful of plants like this plant This plant and the center plant is pretty much the only ones that I noticed a few So this tent was the least infected out of them all They don't really seem to be liking this tent or these plants or these phenotypes I'm not sure what they actually go for I'm guessing it's some kind of sugar or something in the leaf that they like or a taste of it maybe that's a good reason why not to use a monoculture because if you're using a monoculture and they like that one monoculture where it's just you know the same phenotype throughout the whole thing and they like that taste that could be bad so what I'm noticing is you know this whole tank pretty decent not too bad I haven't really noticed too much at all uh, I probably took like maybe five leaves out of the whole thing so so I'm guessing this one is the worst because that one's pretty infected I took off quite a bit of leaf there you know not too much though that it's like gonna be affected because we're in four and a half weeks and I don't really like to do more big leaf strips right now maybe during like the last three weeks I'll do another leaf strip I'm happy that it's just not in the entire garden like some of them really don't have them at all some of them have a little bit more than others you know but hey at least they're not super bad bugs um, yeah so we're just gonna roll with the punches guys and uh, do what we can with leaf stripping and using the sticky pads there to catch the, the bugs. That's pretty much all we can do. I ain't spraying nothing on these girls. If you're someone who does spray, that's up to you and that's your decision. Me, I am very, very picky of what I do to my plants. I do not spray anything on them during flower not a single thing even if it's organic I don't care that ain't going on my flower I'm a very very picky person when it comes to taste and flavor of flower and that is the most important thing to me and I don't want to ruin that for anything uh, a couple bugs on the leaves I don't really care about that they don't seem to be on the, the buds at all so yeah is what it is guys rolling with the punches but it is a beautiful grow nonetheless probably one of my best healthiest grows so far even with the bugs so we'll see how the harvest turns out but you know but you can't always have a perfect grow and that's what we're doing in this channel we're showing you guys how to grow your own plants problems happen you do what you can in my opinion you don't go too crazy if things happen uh, you don't go spraying it with deadly chemicals or anything like that so right now we are going to do another big watering on these girls uh, we did a bit last night because I noticed they were starting to droop so I really want to water them good tonight 
I didn't have enough time to do it all the way last night. Because I leave my water outside in buckets so it dechlorinates, I can only use so much. I don't really want to use too much space in our place just for dechlorinating water. So that's one of my issues, space issues, growing in a small place like I am. So far doing pretty good I'd say even with the bugs. But uh, yeah, I think that's it for this update guys. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, peace out. Catch you guys later.